Before I do anything today, I want to say a thank you to everybody who has ever watched or subscribed to my channel for the simple reason we got our first payment from YouTube, £67 last week, and that meant that we could afford a new pump. It's the Whale EP1645, so thanks so much. Good morning. It's a glorious morning. Proper blue skies, proper sunny. It's gorgeous. So today we're going to take a drive over to Sandown and then Shanklin and have a look around. So I'll take you with me. And we've parked at the Hillside Leisure Centre car park, which is a long stay car park, £4.90 for four hours. You can polish a turd. Yes. <laughs> it's just glass. Are you pressing the pump? What does that one smell like? Bad. <laughs> They're not all poo, some of them are nice. Sitting on a toilet. It's a really sweet museum, small but perfectly formed. <laughs> but now on the outside of the museum, this is an old barracks um, land property um, that the Pooh Museum is in. It's actually inside an old public toilet, which is very appropriate strange theme for a museum uh, but apparently these are the most spectacular views across here uh, down the cliffs of Sandown and looking out to sea so we'll find out that's Sandown Pier all of the boats on the horizon there's some paddle borders down there along here
this is the life outside mum and dad's photo home having a barbecue dad the chef chris ramsey I swear like this, <laughs> Good? Mm -hmm. New drink. Let's see what this is like. Oh, that is strong. Yeah. I'll be falling over the caravan step later. I might be a little bit tiddly. <laughs> If my dad does drinks, he does the measures massive and they're strong. Enjoyable though. That was the drink I bought my dad for Father's Day and we said we'd save it for a holiday so that we could drink it together. Raspberry mojito flavoured rum. Very strong. <laughs> it was lovely though. Really nice. Um, yeah, so now I'm trying to remember what we did today without slurring my words too badly. We started off going to Sandown and um, went to the Pooh Museum, as you saw, and then went down the cliff walk into the beach area. Um, Sandown Pier and Beach are not dog friendly, so we didn't go down those. But um, then we had to walk up through the high street. There's a lot of buildings that need work doing to them. It seemed like there was a lot of empty shops, buildings that have had fires or something going on along the Esplanade. So it could do with some money spent on it, um, sand down. The beach was gorgeous, absolutely spectacular. So it seems like the beach is its crowning glory. Um, but the rest of it has been left to disrepair. There's some very interesting shops, lots of charity shops, but some very interesting independent shops and most of them are dog friendly. So that is amazing. Um, once we'd finished up in Sandown, we took a drive down to Shanklin. Trying to remember. Uh, there was nowhere to park in Shanklin near the beachfront at all. Do you want to say hello? Hello. In his pajamas. Um, so we ended up driving through. Put Perry down. Thank you. Uh, we ended up driving through. Shanklin but in a meandering kind of way when I drive through a town on holiday I like to really I ignore sat nav and I just drive around to see where people live because that's the most interesting aspect and Shanklin looked a lot more cared for in my opinion it's all just my opinion um but yeah there really was nowhere to park um near the beach or the high street or anywhere else but uh, very interesting to drive around it looked lovely um and then we just carried on driving uh towards well into ventnor um and ventnor looked beautiful although the beach is a lot smaller than i thought it would be at ventnor um it looks beautiful and and certainly there's a lot more money in ventnor a lot more shops there, I didn't see any buildings of disrepair there, so that was very interesting um, and looked lovely, but again, not dog friendly on the beach at all. And then we took a meandering path back through Roxall and, and various other little villages until we got back home again. So rather a lovely walk and drive around this area of the coast of the Isle of Wight. Um, I, I just really love driving around places and having a good look around uh, at areas where you wouldn't normally go on holiday, 
but I like to see the residential areas um, and places where people actually live because that's that's what's most interesting to me to see where people are wait girls stop moaning then we came back home my son has spent most of the afternoon since he's been back in the play park playing with his newfound friends lots of them uh, yes lots of them apparently and then um, we had a barbecue family barbecue at uh, mum and dad's major home just across the way there they are sat out there until it got a little bit chilly um, but yeah the drinks came out and here I am still poured myself out a gin and tonic oh can't even do that there we go gin and tonic for this evening but a very weak one <laughs> I know my limits I do I know my limits but a beautiful day um this weekend is the steam festival for the bank holiday weekend being the august bank holiday weekend there are quite a few things on um so i suspect tomorrow we'll be going to the steam festival it's not too far away and and seeing what's there apparently there's there's live music live acts um an old-fashioned fairground and things like that so it should be good fun good old-fashioned family fun which is what we're all about we love that kind of thing <sighs> but now i think i'm just going to veg out until i fall asleep it's been a lovely day and i will see you in the morning no doubt i will sleep very well again tonight thanks for watching love you lots